So today we're going to be making this delicious roast dinner. In a bowl I've got Greek yogurt, Cajun seasoning, chicken seasoning, red chilli flakes and mixed herbs. I'm going to mix this together to form a paste and this is going to be the marinade for my chicken. So I'll be using chicken breast for this. I'm going to now coat the chicken in the marinade that we just mixed together. Just make sure that your chicken is completely covered and once we've done this we're going to cover with some cling film and we're going to pop that into the fridge for a few hours. So I'm now prepping my veggies, I'm using parsnips and potatoes. So I'm just going to peel, wash and slice up the potatoes. Once I've done this, I'm going to pop them into a big pan with water, add some salt and pop that on to the boil for around 10 minutes. So now for the Yorkshire puddings we need flour, eggs and milk and here are the measurements. So in a large bowl we want to add the flour and then we also want to add the eggs. Now we just need to mix them together, I'm going to use a hand whisk to do this. So now we need to gradually add in the milk, so we're going to add in about half of the milk and then give it a good stir. Now add in the remaining milk and just keep mixing until your mixture is smooth and there's no lumps. Once your mixture looks like this, you can then add salt and pepper. And now I'm just going to add the mixture into a cup and into the fridge and it will be ready for when I need to cook the Yorkshire puddings. Now in a large oven proof dish I'm going to add some butter and pop it in the oven to melt. Once it's melted I'm going to add in my veggies and give them a really good toss and I'm going to sprinkle over some roast potato seasoning and then pop in the oven. It's time to start on the chicken now, so we start with some olive oil in a pan, wait for that to heat up and then add in your chicken. Now what we're going to do is just sear the chicken on both sides until it's lovely and golden brown. Once the chicken is browned on both sides, you want to transfer to an ovenproof dish and then we're going to cover with some foil and pop into the oven for around 30 minutes to fully cook through.
Now I'm going to pour my Yorkshire pudding mixture into a cupcake tin and you just want to go about three quarters of the way full. Once you've done this you just need to pop into the oven for around 20 minutes. So now I'm just going to be making up the gravy. I'm using the Bisto gravy granules. And now my veggies are out the oven. They look absolutely delicious and golden brown and we're ready to plate up and enjoy.